Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to bring the good news to the poor. He has sent me to comfort the brokenhearted and to proclaim that the captives will be released and the prisoners will be freed, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God. Beverly Hills Precious Metals Exchange is a client-focused firm devoted to assisting our clients with precious metals. Our clients range from first-time to serious coin collectors and investors seeking to add precious metals to their investment portfolios. We are not interested in volatile investments, leveraged products, and intangible assets. With rising inflation and the devaluing of the dollar hurting middle-class families, investing in gold and silver ensures protection for your hard-earned money. Save the value of your money today by investing in gold and silver at Beverly Hills Precious Metals. Okay, this has been a while that I have had Kim Clement's daughter, Donna Petruska, on my show. And this is so important in terms of timing to have Donna back. What a blessing that you get to be with us. Again, we would love to also have your father sitting beside you, but, you know, the Lord has his purpose. Uh, but more importantly, we get to talk about some incredible prophetic words, Donna, and welcome back. Thank you. Thank you, Bo. It's so nice to be back. I was just, you know, when you invited me, I was thinking, you know, it has been a while. Me and Bo have some stuff to discuss. And I certainly think that we do. Like I've said in prior podcasts, even the, you know, the day I met you, I'm like, wow, it's so cool to, to meet Donna and, you know, and be, become friends with her and her husband. Uh, but it, it's really neat that, you know, that before we've ever met, you know, I literally, I think it was like when your father was alive, I know he's alive, and maybe the the year that he was putting these prophecies prophecies out in 2014, I heard of these prophetic words, and I knew, like, it's in the Bible, right? You know, when you hear the truth, you know. Yeah. And so when I heard your father's prophetic words, it's like, that is the truth, period. There, you know, put a big period after that, because that is the truth. And he was the prophet or a prophet of God. Powerful is like other prophets of old, like Daniel. You know, and we'll talk about that as well, too. But, you know, your father was, you know, a historic figure in terms of prophetic words that were put upon the earth way before, way before the prophets that we're having, you know, that we see today. You know, because we have some amazing prophets, you know, that, that that we can listen to. But your dad was way ahead of the curve, you know. So God used him, uh, you know, for his time and his season. And we get to now watch the fulfillment of your father's words. How amazing is this in what is going to soon be the most miraculous and incredible moment in time in human history? Mm -hmm. And your father was prophesying about all of this, and we are about to witness its fulfillment. So what an exciting time, you know, to be alive. You know, the, the world, as we know it, you know, it, it, it like your your father, one of the, you know, the words were, I think one of, the, one of the prophetic words was, you know, it's it's the darkest before the light, right? And, you know, and, and the darkness is necessary so that when the light appears, it's, in, it's incredible, right? And so you know, what is about to manifest on this earth here is going to be earth shaking. You know, this year, you know, based on your father's prophecies, Donna, is going to be a year the world's never going to forget. And when you listen to some of the words that we're going to play in your dad's videos, they're mind blowing the things that he was saying, and they made no sense nine, nine or 10 or 12 years ago. They made no sense. And today it's like, oh, that makes complete sense because you couldn't understand because the time the presidencies were, were you know, there's different presidents in office. None of it made sense. And it's incredible because Kim Clement, little, you know, your father, when he was speaking, he was speak, he was standing in the future speaking about what we're now witnessing. So today, these prophetic words are so perfect. Well, the thing is, there's also the, uh, there's a purity in it. When you speak of truth, uh, you know, even unintentionally, anybody around right now has sort of decided where they are in this, in this divide that we've, you know, we've seen the enemy uh, just ravage America with and the divide uh, happened really 
in the year that my dad had the first stroke and was n- not able to speak anymore. Yeah. And, um, and if you look at his entire life and the time period that he was prophesying in, it was all prior to this season that we're in now, which anybody looking back now in time, you look at 2015, it's a big marker there. Um, 2014, 15, that time, um, you know, people hadn't chosen. So like you said, there he was prophesying the stuff that wasn't really making sense. And, you know, a lot of it was just going over everybody's head and, you know, we'd grab onto certain things that we knew, but a lot of it was, what is this? And when you listen to it now, all the years later, and you look back and you realize he could not speak anymore after 2015 and everything that he prophesied was prior to that. So when you look at it that way, the purity of the, truth that came from him that was projecting to us through prophecy what to expect the particular things god needed us to know he doesn't tell us everything but he needs us to know certain things so that we can navigate through um and uh, i just you know it's blown me away and he was my dad I'm, i'm sure if he was alive right now it would be blowing him away he'd be saying my goodness and he would be giving all the glory to god too very important that part no exactly that's the point you know when your father's you know when your father spoke it was so amazing because you know the the spirit of the lord says you know and he would just prophesy and then you know the lord says and it was just incredible to listen i was just actually this morning you had sent me a couple new videos um a couple days ago prior to the interview and i was put them edits together this morning and so we'll talk about that but it was just it was so fun listening to these words that i've never heard before what you're going to we're going to hear today so we're going to do two prophecies that, you know, from, from 20, I think it was 2010, that no one's ever from Kansas City that no one's heard. I, at least I don't never heard. So I'm sure there are very few people ever heard them. And we're going to go through them. And it's incredible the accuracy of the words that, the, you know, that your father's speaking. And yet it, none of it made sense then. And today it's so perfectly pure, like you're saying, it's just it's 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 perfect. Um, and and the timing of it, you know, and, and uh, you know, you know, the Lord has His purpose for you know for having taken you, taken your father. But from a time point, right? What I've come to discover is, you know, how God works. And since we're in end times here, not you know we're the beginning of the end, but you know we're seeing things manifest across the earth. You know, we're definitely, definitely, definitely not in anything where we're stepping into a World War Three conflict phenomenon. But you know, the, they're going to try to scare because that's how Satan operates. But it's incredible, you know, you mentioned that, you know, the year 2015. So then, you, you know, Daniel's timeline is a seven-year cycle. So, you know, the, the cycle calculations that I basically have looked at, I want to show you some of these things. And then we'll take some videos and we'll clip those in and we'll watch them as well, too. But I think you're going to really appreciate, um, you know, the, the timing not that it's good or, you know, bad or whatever, you know, your father passed away in 2015, right. but right. but it was it was the next year when the cycle of time began. Mm-hmm. What you're looking at, if you can see right here, is yes. June 30th of 2016. So this is Daniel's timeline. Okay, so Daniel's cycle of time wow. is a seven-year window. Okay, so it's two cycles of three and a half years. So it's it's 1,260 days or three and a half years. 1260 days and three and a half years but ultimately if you add it together you have a seven-year cycle and this is biblical okay this is not my timing i simply use this timing to calculate the movement of precious metals to calculate the movement of gold and silver cryptocurrencies so i've used this and then i found that this cycle plays into the cycle of the presidents Mm -hmm. it does and so all of this is incredible how this all plays out but then you can now since you mentioned your father this ties into your father as well too because he died in 2015 so we go june 30th of the next year and then we go three and a half years 1260 days forward so june 30th why would that date was important is for this fact here because june 30th that's when obama allowed transgenders in the military and more importantly that was the exact day that the last hand that touched the Declaration of Independence retired. So on that date, no one's touched the Declaration of Independence since. And this is directly related to prophecy because we're a covenant nation under God. So it's been exactly 
seven years since June 30th of 2016. We go three and a half years forward to the precise day, and that's December 12th of 2019. And on that exact day, a cluster of patients began experiencing symptoms in Wuhan, China. Uh, First documented events that go on. There's a 30-day window, which is January 12th of 2020, which is the first case of corona outside of China. So it becomes a pandemic on January 12th, 2020. Yes. And then in the next three and a half years mm-hmm. takes us to, don't I, this June 25, 2023. I so there that. is your seven years since the passing of your father. Wow. So this takes us into this summer. Well, he, now, actually, he-, he actually passed away in November, on November 23rd of 2016, but he never prophesied again after September 5th of 2015 because he had four strokes. So the first stroke uh, he had, and six weeks later, he had another one. That second one took his ability to speak and he never spoke again. So, so again, so what year, what, sorry, what day did he die? If you don't mind me asking again tonight. November 23rd. Okay. 2016. He 16. died. Yeah, he died. Wow, but okay. he, he couldn't speak from September 5th. It was like technically it was September 7th. The last time he went on a broadcast and prophesied was September 5th. September 7th, he had the stroke, which was the Monday. This is 2015. And he, he never s- spoke publicly again after that. Wow. So he's right in yeah, this it's still the, it still fits because it's right in the middle of it. It's, so he got, he got a stroke here and then he passed away just on the on the other side of of yes. of, of that. So he's right in that weeks. window right there. So there's your seven it's, years for your father. It's it's fascinating. Still the seven how, years. Yes. Yeah. So ultimately, the passing of your father, in a way, you know, it's sad, but but it was a biblical timing with yes. regards to da- the regards to Daniel's cycle of time and the reason I want to point this out to you is because if we go further into this this is where it kind of gets wild if I should go back to the, my share screen here this is the part that really stands out to to me you know math mathematically is kind of crazy because if we look from this point forward it takes us into June 25 of 2023 this is June so so today being May 2nd Donay this is less than 2 months away OK, so yes. this is we're literally talking less than two months with seven, seven, seven ish weeks away into the end of June. And so why is that important? Because we got to look at your father's prophetic words. OK, and so what were his prophetic words? They're right here. Summer. About summer, summer will be the mediator between spring mm-hmm. and fall. So he passes away. Seven years go by. To the precise day is June 25, June 21, four days earlier is a summer solstice. So now we're in summer to be the mediator between spring and fall, which starts in September 21, so that the fall can do its work in America. So your father's passing actually ends up being a Daniel's time window into this summer where his prophetic word about summer will be the mediator will be fulfilled to the fall can do its work in america and then that takes us to the you know the the actual video um that we actually we we should play that video here as well too let me play that video and you know something else you should know which is something i noticed at the time is that um my dad had prophesied about obama and his legacy And he said that he would have a choice to make and that would determine his legacy and also what would happen in America. So there was a choice that Obama was given. And um, my dad felt that it pertained to Israel. And um, uh, my dad died on November 23rd of 2016. On December 23rd of 2016, which would be exactly one month later, um, Obama turned his back on Israel at the UN. Yeah. Right. So that that actually came to fruition, that, that began to happen. So he saw that there would be a decision being made by Obama, and that decision would determine the outcome and how things would go. So there was a choice. And um, on December 23rd, 2016, he turned his back on Israel. 
in the UN. And I'll never forget it because my dad had just died and I've been looking at what was going on and he was about to leave. But Trump had won the election. Uh, and, you know, the one another good thing is that my dad did leave live to see Donald Trump elected and that prophecy fulfilled. And wow. he lived. And even though he couldn't speak, he knew what was going on uh, around him. He was he, he was conscious and, and everything. But um, it, so he was able to watch what was going on. We were discussing things with him. Uh, it, it's unfortunate that he he wasn't able to speak. But I believe that in, in that case, uh, God took what was meant for evil and turned it around for an incredible good through my dad. And although it meant his life, I think that we will see um, uh, the impact uh, that was made through dad, that God made through dad uh, for being obedient, for being bold in a time before all of this where, you know, people were uh, quite comfortable with our institutions and the things that were going on. Uh, and we've come to learn that we have been lied to and and used and abused. And God was going to make sure that it was revealed to us in the right way. So we will go through some of these harder times, you know, like this Biden administration. God is going to use that to open more eyes because he cares. Here's the thing I keep telling people is that God cares about all of those people who reject him and, and who are deceived right now and who are, uh, uh, you know, I mean, even some churches I saw on, on Twitter, there was a church on Easter, the guy, I forget his name, but it's one of these pastors that was disgraced for some reason. I don't know what happened, but he um, had a church service uh, on Easter where they had a woman on the cross and they were twerking for Jesus. So we have this, this, there's a problem, a deception, a corruption everywhere, even in the church. And so God wants us to see that. And those people who are lost, he wants us to save. I keep talking about Jonah and the whale and telling people, you know, think of how Jonah felt. That's how we're going to be feeling because yeah. it's, you know, you know, you see people are talking about judgment and, thing. and you know what, there is judgment. God judges, but above all, God wants to save them. And it's to them that we're called. So this time with Biden, as difficult as, as it's been under this administration, um, I think will, will result in more people seeing the truth. And that's, I think, what God really wants to happen here is our eyes opened. Yeah, a couple of things, you know, you mentioned Obama, right? So you have to understand, like, back to Dan. See, every time I hear something, I'll always check and cross-reference that with, example, Dan, um, Daniel's timeline. And that was one of the key features I figured out about how this does play into time windows, right? And so yeah. that Daniel cycle, okay? So as much as your father prophesied and God would like Obama to turn from his wicked ways, see, the problem is, you know, he, he's his he's like Pharaoh. He's hard in his heart, right? And that's the issue. And then also, when I laid the Daniel cycle on him, like you know, the when he got his Nobel Peace Prize, forget what year it was, but around the cycles, you, people can double check this. But when he got the Nobel Peace Prize, I thought that was the craziest thing because what did he do to really yeah. get it? You see, I remember. Saying he, I was just like, what? Right? What for? And, and so that when I heard the word peace, I in, immediately grabbed Daniel's calculations and, and ran the timeline forward. And the 1260 days we talked about, Dunne, it lands on precisely 322, March 22nd, the skull and bones number, okay, uh, three and a half years into the future from when he got the Nobel Peace Prize. So this is mathematical perfection, but more importantly, he literally lands in Israel on that date. Oh. No, Donna, you can't make this stuff up. So he gets the Nobel Peace Prize 1260 days precisely forward, three and a half years later. It's 322, and he lands, more importantly, in Israel, right? And just like when Jesus came to Israel, right? So he's not Jesus. He's the other side of the coin, right? He's evil, mocking Jesus, right? Mocking God. And then it gets even better. Okay, well, that was a coincidence. No, no, it wasn't. Because 1260 days forward from that exact day, he lands at Mount Olympus. Well, if you study what Mount Olympus is, right? It's Zeus, Who's yeah. Zeus? Satan. Okay. So he yeah. goes, visits his father. You, when you study history, there history, you know, the, the, the stuff of the giants and, and all the stuff of that, you know, that you've learned. It's all history. It's not mythology. Okay. Right. People, so they're they're the, the giants were real. Yes. And this is history. So you literally have we've got Obama going to visit Papa, 
you know, uh, Zeus on Mount Olympus, 1260 days, precisely, precisely to the exact mark, Donna. This is okay. crazy, <laughs> but is. it happened. And so that's why I'm trying to illustrate how the Daniel cycle is so important with regards to timelines. So, yeah. yes, the Daniel cycle, um, you know, talks about the last seven years. But what God revealed to me is these last the last seven year cycle is repeated numerous times in different ways with different entities before the last seven years. Well, because it's a cycle. Yes. And so God's using that cycle of time, including what we just talked about with your father. He he passes on the Daniel cycle only to fulfill what ends up fulfilling the Daniel cycle into this summer. That's incredible. <laughs> and so let's watch the video that okay. your father, this, and then it's nine years ago. If you study mathematics, that's the last number before the one starts over again. So yeah. it was nine years ago from when your father, and this is not numerology, it's just math. When nine is over, one starts again. So it starts over again. And so he prophesied this prophecy nine years ago. And then a couple, you know, two, three years later, he passes only the start at the start of the Daniel cycle, which takes us seven years forward, which ends this June hmm. summer is, as it begins. So he, this is incredible how this is playing out. And here's a prophetic word of your father. So let's listen to this about this year, 2023. So have a listen, Donnie. expose I will reveal for you have entered into a time and a season of undercover where I will bring out from the covers the truth for there have been too many lies one lie after the other covered in high national positions there are two E's that I see one E is the word erupt the other is earthquake a volcano as a sign and then there will be another earthquake says the Lord keep your eyes open for this sign is to cause the earth to yield of its produce I will release that which has been held back from you and cause triumph to be sounded in your mouths says the Lord summer Summer reaches to spring and to fall. I will be the mediator, says Summer. I will uncover. Yet beneath the earth, there is a rage. Eruptions. Summer says, why choose they me? Why do the tornadoes, the hurricanes choose me? I am summer. I bring smiles. I bring sunshine. I bring warmth. Yet there is a tumultuous rendering that is coming i stand to protect spring but fall you are rebelling or is it that possibly the spirit of god will cause many to fall in fall then there is the earth that wishes to tremble shake for the nations of the earth stand waiting. However, there is an uncovering of great evil. And I will start from the top. I have shaken the Democrats and will shake the Republicans even more. But remember when these tremors and when these tumultuous moments happen, Summer says, I will take it so that the fall can do its work in America. Summer, take it. For thus says the Lord, I will prosper my people. 
And during the fall, there shall be many that shall fall. And many that shall rise from the dust. For the summer shall bring forth much in the temperatures. Strange July, strange July. Hypnotic November. And oh Christmas. Where winter shall say, and me, I will make them happy. For God says, I have chosen each season to manifest something. And it shall come to pass that I shall bring sign after sign. And in the fall, that which comes down is that which was able to be shaken. And I will build and release the resources. And in the fall, will show you whom I have chosen to pray for and guide this nation. You shall rejoice, for it is my man. It is my chosen David, says the Lord. So the crazy part is my chosen David. Do you realize in the summer solstice, from his birthday, Trump is 77 years old in seven days. Oh, I didn't know that. It's oh. mathematical perfection using a Daniel cycle from your father's passing. Now, when seven he was inaugurated, years. wasn't there something about his birthday? Yes, yeah, seven years, seven months, and seven days. Now this summer solstice, which steps into the summer solstice, which takes us into strange July, strange oh. July, your father just spoke of on just a few days before that exactly precisely on the summer solstice, Trump will be 77 years old and seven days. Oh my gosh. Perfectly to the exact day. You cannot make this math up. It is crazy. And all of it is pointing directly to your dad's, your father's words about what's about to go down here this summer. It's 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 staring us in the face based on Daniel's cycle of time. Yes. Summer will be the mediator. And everything we just watched in that video is re referencing this year, 2023. And I mean, look at how much stuff is starting to come out, how much of the corruption is being exposed right now. We've kind yeah. of have they're having a little bit of an overload, I think, um, the, the whoever the, whoever they are. See, this is yeah. the question I keep asking everybody is who are they? Oh. You know, we have the deep state and we have the cabal and all these different the Illuminati and all these different names. But who are the, because it's a very centralized thing that's happening, you know. Um, Question for you. Yes. Uh, so it's actually interesting. That's something I've just put together this week. You know, who are they? When you read Genesis yes. 4, verses 5 okay. through 6, okay? So it's right in here. So what it basically talks about is specifically, you know, the, you know, the we're all sons of God, right? And yes. we're all children of God. And so... When the event happens, you know, with Cain and Abel, God says in Genesis 4, verses 5 to 7, Cain became very angry, and the Lord said unto Cain, Why are thou wroth? Why are thou wroth, child? Wroth, child. Wrath, child. Children of wrath. Children of wrath. Cain. Okay. They're angry. This is what my dad said when he saw that the, the, that the wall would not be completed in April of 2015. He said, there's a wall being built that will not be completed yeah. because of a takeover. I mean, you couldn't have been <laughs> So the more. Rothschilds, the, the, to remove the W, replace with the R, the Rothschilds are the seeds of Cain. Cain. In, in, that very, in that very time when you the birthright using our birth certificates, using a straw man, right? And so they are the angry children of God. And then you go it's, further. So you got the Rothschilds, the Klaus Schwab's, the Bill Gates. Right. These are all bloodlines yes. going back back to Cain. Which then Jesus Christ, when he's on the earth, right, he actually calls them out. It's in Revelation two verse nine. And Revelation three verse nine says, "I know the blasphemy of those opposing you. They say they are Jews, but they are not, yeah, because not. their synagogue belongs belongs to Satan." Yes. So this is the Kazarian Mafia. So this is a bloodline that goes back to literally creation, Adam and Eve, and that's where the bloodline of Cain came from. But this is all, and then you know, then you have JFK literally called them out as a secret society. So this goes back 
to creation and the apple. That's how far back this thing. This goes all the way back to the actual apple where Adam and Eve let evil onto the earth. And that started this journey that we're on right now. You know, if I look, pull, it, you know, it started right here. Right it started in Eden with the apple and the snake. That's why apples got a bite out of it, right? Got and then bite you, out of it in their logo. My goodness. Yeah, and, bite, and then this this is the long term vision of time here, right? So you've got four thousand years of the Jews, right? And then you got and then Christ appears on the earth, dies on the cross, fulfills scripture, resurrects. Two thousand years of the Gentiles, and we're in the tail end of it right here. Yes, so we're we are. right here in twenty twenty three, and then we're stepping into you know, and then. A little bit more time goes by. I've got the, you know, and I don't need to get specific on, you know, the dates and stuff. But basically, it's a, it's a six thousand year battle. Yes. For Israel. Yes. And the United States is, and that's why your father loved Israel, right? Yes. How many prophetic words had he had about Israel, right? Because it's a battle for Israel. God calls it the promised land, and he called it a promised land, right, in his book. And so again, it just goes back. It's thousands of years. This has been a battle. For thousands of years, it goes back to creation. And so that's why in the Bible, it talks what's called, you know, mystery Babylon. Well, so, yeah. you know, mystery, why is it? Because they work in the shadows. That's what it is. They work in the shadows to control humanity. And that's, that's what, that's the mystery. So, you know, you don't know who they are. Like you said, who are they? Right. So I'm telling you where the bloodlines came from, but they work in the shadows. They control the seven hills with the money. Yes. So the church, the family, government, media, it's all captured, Mystery Babylon, and they're, you know, the, they're the puppet masters. They are. Because they pull the string and they operate in the shadows, and that's why it's called Mystery Babylon, written Revelation 17, verse 5. So that's who these people are. And so we don't. there's families that we don't even know of that are bl blood lineage back to Cain and they've been on this, you know, the, then it's, it's, they just, it just goes on and on for thousands of years, but they but they've been operating in the shadows. And what happens is God at some point, right. Is going to intervene on. Well, this is the right. awesome part about our God, right? He told us the story. And just like your father always gave glory to who God, right? God. God got the glory. Well, you have to remember the, the, the prophecy of Daniel 2. Daniel 2 interpreted Nebuchadnezzar's dream. And he foretold the next two and a half thousand years. But in doing so, he gave all the glory to God. He goes, God revealed this to me. God revealed the next two and a half. God, God revealed the future to me, which now ends up being two and a half thousand years. So we've seen the kingdoms of Babylon, Persia, Greece, Rome, the papacy, the United States, everything come through fruition. The last part, Donna, we're, we're missing. This is it. We're yes. missing Daniel 2 verse 34. And while you were watching, which means that we get to be on this earth, Donna, just as your father prophesied, we're going to watch this go down. A stone, which your father said, and they will raise a stone. A simple stone. And they will laugh at, and he will raise a stone, and they will laugh at him. Remember the name, Incredible. gold, right? And yeah. so, so yes, Jesus Christ is a stone, but the, the but the, but the uh, comparative analogy on this earth is going to have, because Jesus Christ is not going to return right now. This is the glory manifesting, but the glory is going to cause the stone to be risen. And gold is going to blow up. And so when gold and silver blow up in price, Babylon falls. And so while you're watching, a stone was cut up by no human hand, and it struck the statue at its feet of iron and clay, and it smashed it to pieces. So we're about to witness the fall of Babylon. So mystery Babylon is, it's not the statue, it's a mystery now. It's about to fall between today into the summer. To fulfill wow. your father's seven-year cycle of since his passing, and to fulfill Daniel's seven years into this summer, and Trump's birthday of seventy-seven years and seven days. This is the mortal wound that's written in Revelation, Donna. It's the mortal wound, and so like Jesus Christ comes back to life, the beast system is going to come back to life in the future. In the future, fulfilling your father's words again. 
They're going to come back in the future, okay? But right now, we get glory days ahead of us. So Daniel's cycle of time foretold that this summer into July is going to be epic, okay? Then we're, now we know the Jubilee cycle, 50 year, thou shalt consecrate the 50th year and proclaim liberty throughout the land and to all of its inhabitants, okay? Well, Roe v. Wade was overturned last year, but it became law in January 22nd of 1973, so 50 years was this past January. We are sitting right now in 50 years. Now, Nixon took us off the gold standard in 71, but in 73, it became the petrodollar. Yeah. So Saudis signed a contract with the United States in 73. Well, that was at 50 years, 2023, the exact same year Roe and Roe became law. So we are now at 50 years. So if God's going to give birth to something, when Babylon falls, a new will be birthed. Well, when you read Matthew 24... I think my I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I don't Go want ahead. to. I think my dad uh got saved in 1973. I need to check with my mom to make sure that that was the I I, I don't remember now, but I feel like it was 197. It might have been 74, but it's possible my dad got saved in 1973. Wow. So I'll check that for you to see how that because that would be an interesting well. No, because that's important, because if it, that'd be fantastically interesting, just because what I've noticed is prophets, they have, an, you know, the anointing on them. They also experience the world yes. based on time windows. And so it'd be interesting to, to find out if it was 73, but I find it truly fascinating because I do find that, you know, I've, you know, I've listened to many prophets and I've listened to some of their stories and a lot of their stories, uh, many things have happened to them in key years. Mm. historically as well too and so that those would be dates, those dates definitely matter they definitely do yeah uh, and, and time and prophecy are are intricately linked absolutely absolutely and that's why that kind of leads us to this to the second video that i want to play here because it directly overlays with what your father um was saying in the first video and so and it's it's like if, if it's something important to god right he's going to repeat it isn't yes. he? You know what I'm saying? Yes. He's not going to say it once. He's going to say it, he's going to say it several times. And so it's interesting that this prophetic word, this is what you sent me just mm -hmm. a couple of days ago. And I want to play it's this. It's newly rediscovered. Like I didn't, we have 40 years of footage in a server. And so I have a prophecy database. And so I kind of follow those. And then we go through and we do watch them and watch them. And that particular one we'd forgotten about. I haven't used it on Prophetic Rewind, which is the, the show that I do on our network. Um, and so I had found this video footage. I did. I've only played it a little bit. It's been on our YouTube channel. Uh, and I was in Bend, Oregon, speaking just a couple of weeks ago. And I played it for the the people the live and the at the event and said, "Look what I just found." And that's when I sent that to you too. I said, "Look, Bo's got to get this." <laughs> Uh, no, I loved it. And I was, I literally worked on all the edits this morning. So I got them all to put it together as one. I it's got a done about a four and a half, maybe five minute video. And it will, it will reiterate every, so many things, Donna, that you and I spoke about today. It's so amazing. We're going to reiterate so many things we spoke about and what God's about to do. And, and your father was standing in 2023 when he was prophesying this 12, 13 years ago. That's so right. Proud. So incredible. So let's let's have a listen here. Here we go. You are gathered around the prophet to hear his words. There is great darkness that is emerging from the top office in the land. And the Spirit of the Lord says there is darkness that is emerging from a place that they call white. But did I not promise that great light would come from great darkness? Did I not promise you that even in the midst of darkness, great light shall shine on this nation and the nations of the earth? Your enemy shall melt as wax before the fire. God says, your enemy shall melt as wax before the fire. The Spirit of God says, do not forget the promises that I've made throughout the earth. Do not forget the promises that I made to your children. 
Do not forget that I said I would send signs. The earth is shaking all around you. It is shaking in nations around you. And they have prayed for America to be shaken in the earth. That judgment may be the answer. That God said, America, I am not going to judge you. I'm going to chastise. Do not despise the chastisement of the Lord. For the earthquake that, that has come shall release energy from a place that has been held deep in the earth. This shall be known as a miracle. This shall be known as a sign and a wonder. And what shall happen is the new source of energy shall come from deep within. It has been held for millions and millions of years for such a time as this. Do you realize, says the Lord, that you are living in a time that was spoken of by the generals of yesterday. God says you have come to a place where I will unlock a key where you will be free from your debt to the Middle East. You'll be free from your debt to China. You'll be free from your debt. And let them laugh, says the Lord, and say this shall never happen. Just watch me now as I take this thing and that which is big for harm shall be for your good, says the Lord. Come on. And yet there is an aroma coming from children. There is a fragrance of praise that is coming from the teenagers. There is a fragrance of praise that is coming from the hearts of the children. And God said, I have thrown a mantle upon them and I have given to them the double portion. America, your best day is upon you. I will bring the betrayal out. And in the summer months, you will look and say, it's rebounding, it's rebounding. Things are coming back, things are coming back. For God said, I am taking you out of a dark place and shedding my light, says the Lord. Come on. Hallelujah. Spirit of prophecy is on me. It's so powerful, it's thick. He's telling us the future. And I will take men who have been astute and prudent in their dealings with finances. And I will make them billionaires, millionaires and extremely influential and wealthy and do not say that it is not the desire of the Lord. I call Abraham out of the earth Chaldees and his obedience made him the most influential and powerful and wealthy man on the face of the earth. A new party shall emerge in this anger, wrath infested political climate. A new party shall emerge. For the Spirit of God says, enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. This nation that has brought literally bread to the nations of the earth. This nation that has sent my word to the most remote parts of the world and lost their lives because of it. I will not forget, says the Spirit of the Lord. I will not forget. God said, this body that shall arise shall have the words of my commandments and shall have the truths that were given to your forefathers and they shall bring it and they shall say this shall never be lost and God says even your supreme court shall be shaken and God said out of this shall emerge a party and truly the Lord says I will breathe upon it and the Lord says, this nation shall once again shine through the nations of the earth. And God said, though you be despised and though they will bring wars against you, you will never be defeated again, says the Spirit of God. Come on. Gosh, how great. It's so incredible the way the way you, you shortened it a little bit um, from what I sent you, uh, just the music parts. And so when you just hear everything back to back like that, it's just like, oh, my goodness. Like he literally like stepped into 2023 and looked around. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's amazing but especially Thank the new party sure. the new party because he had seen that and I've, I've shown other prophecies where he saw the scales will be removed from eyes a party of people that would be united and 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 this uh, kind of thing so i was so excited just to have that to have that part when i found this footage uh recently but more the energy and what god was going to do um with people that had uh with finances that had been studious and 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 worked hard and paid attention, people like you, um, that he God was going to bless them, and that that's not a bad thing for Christians to be blessed. 
you know, you know the, the finances, this goes back to the Garden of Eden. Yes. God made everything and it was good. And then when he made man, it was very good. Regenesis, right? And the earth was made for man. Yes. Man named everything, right? And then evil came on and stole our inheritance. All that's going to happen is we get back our inheritance. Yes. Right. It goes back to what was rightfully owed to us. You want scripture? Deuteronomy. We are to be the head and not the tail. We are to be the lenders to the nations, not the debtor. Yes. Evil flipped the tables on our understanding of everything. Everything, including yep. Yep. the money. Including. including the money. And so... If you had all the finances that you need in life, then what would you do? You wouldn't chase finances as an idol. You wouldn't chase it. You would chase God. You see, That's right. because we chase, you, you can't serve two masters. It's in, it's biblical, right? So the world is chasing money because everyone's in debt. Right. What did, what did Moses say to Pharaoh? Let my people go so they can come in the wilderness and worship me. Yes. Period. That's the point. And so if you're chasing money, you can't chase God. And our father and Jesus and the Holy Spirit is a jealous God. He made us. He loves us. And he wants us chasing him, loving him. And he'll give us everything we possibly can ever imagine. And then some. Because he's a multiplier. He gives you everything you need. I also I am interested that. in the energy part of the prophecy. Because here we do sit in a time but there's a battle over energy. And he was seeing a new kind of energy. Now, he prophesied this for years. He kept associating with the earthquake again and again. So this isn't the yes. first time he prophesied that. Yes. He saw an earthquake, the earth would yield its produce and that there would be a new energy, something discovered deep within the earth. He talked often of it's right under your feet. Very interesting things that he saw in regards to energy that have not all come to pass, but we are seeing a time where um, we're just on the cusp of it. And people do send me new energy discoveries often. And I'm paying attention all the time because at one point, my dad, he didn't say this publicly, but he said he'd seen uh, that when we got into a car, you would have five different types of energy you could choose from to use when driving. That was a vision he got. So um so excited when, whenever that energy stuff comes up again, because I think we're right on the cusp of that. Well, and again, see, and why are we right on the cusp? I 100% agree with you because it's directly related to, to timelines. Again, it's directly yeah. to time windows, right? See, this evil season. So when Corona comes on the scene, you got three and a half years into this summer. And it's seven years from your father's passing. So it's yeah. it's biblical fulfillment. But you're not going to have the blessed, the next three and a half years, the most incredible Glory, because when the glory manifests, understand everything we understand to be true will flip upside down. Okay, so yes. this energy will be released when in the summer, because you have to have June 25 complete. Yes, right? you have to have the 1260 days complete. And then in, in July into August, because there's a 45 day window. So the new era that we're stepping into. The next, so the, the God's kingdom officially would be birth. I'd have to give the date of August 9th. So I don't think happens on that date, but I'm saying August forward three and a half years or it's seven years. Cause it's when Joseph came back to the power to get into power. It was seven years of plenty. So mm -hmm. we're stepping into seven years of plenty. So your father's passing was seven years. And now we're stepping into yes. seven years of plenty forward. The next yes. three and a half, 1260 days are going to be insane. When I yes. say I'm armed, like, forget the word insane, biblical. Yeah. Then we can't even imagine how amazing our God is going to be and what he's going to do with regards to releasing his energy so you brought that up you know so and but you have to have the earth yield its produce so you have to have the earthquakes in summer and he and saw then the earth yield its produce and that also goes to the maybe for the word of a strange july strange july yes and, so and then also incredible time and that's also, that's that's your father's words right there a great is. light will come in will come from, from great darkness go ahead sorry no, I was just going to say this year is the seventh year since he passed away. Yeah. 
So in November of this year will be seven years since he uh, passed. And what was your father's word? Hypnotic? What? Hypnotic November at seven right. years. That's right. Yes. And also that. And so your father's word directly ties in with the Trump side, with a with a cycle of the president's cycle, because if yes. you run seven years from when uh, we'll have to have it right here. So this is the seven years. Right. So Trump's Trump comes and wins the election using Daniel's timeline again. He wins the election November 6th or 8th, whatever it was, 2016, 1260 days forward. Boom. You have yes. oil go to negative thirty eight dollars a barrel. 30 days later, you have the Edenville Dam break in the township of Hope, Michigan. 10 days later is Pentecost. The latter rain is birthed. 1,260 days forward it takes you to November 2nd of this year. What what day did your father pass? 23rd, November 23rd. So, November, so, it, so there it is. So right in the month of November is your hypnotic November. It is. That your father pro prophesied about right there. It is right there. So this is how incredible how all of this timing is playing out. And I so love Trump's, your timelines. Trump's cycle lines up with your father's passing, sadly, but it lines up with your father's passing and your father's prophetic word of hypnotic November. Yes. So our God is amazing. It's incredible what's about to happen. It's it's truly biblical. If it's all you can say, it's biblical. It's by God's design. It is. It's by Absolutely. his design. Probably the best place to end this interview is to say thank you to you and your mom and your amazing husband and your your family and everything your beautiful father has ever done. I will be seeing you in Florida in think, two weeks from now. And your father's prophetic word, then you can finish from here, but your father's prophetic word is a great light will come from great darkness and America will never be defeated again. So hopeful. So hopeful. Thank you so much, Bo, for having me on. And if anybody wants to uh, see more of Dad's prophecies, you can go to kimclement.com. And we have a whole network of stuff there you can you can have a look at. We've got a prophecy database. We're also on all the social media platforms. Uh, just search for Kim Clement or House of Destiny, and you will find us there. Donna, God bless everything you do. And I really look forward to seeing you shortly. Oh, thank you so much, Bo. I love these conversations. Okay.